Hi, beautiful people. So this is about the hundredfold reward or the hundredfold judgment that you can get from God. But let, let's read Doctrine and Covenants 78 and 19. And he who receiveth all things with thankfulness shall be made glorious, and the things of this earth shall be added unto him even a hundredfold. Yeah, more. So you that's the hundredfold reward God will give to his people and he wants me to read doctrine and covenants um chapter 98 and 20 verse 23 to 48 so i'm gonna read that and it also goes into the fourfold bless the fourfold reward and um god recompensing a hundredfold on people's heads and or rewarding them a hundredfold or a fourfold blessing so i'm just gonna read it and you can take this up with fasting and praying if you need more clarity, or you can read it yourself. Um, now I speak unto you concerning your families. If men will smite you, or your families once and you bear it patiently and rival not against them, neither seek revenge, you shall be rewarded. But if you bear it not patiently, it shall be accounted unto you as being meted out as a just measure unto you. And again, if your enemy shall smite you the second time and you rival not against your enemy and bear it patiently, your reward shall be a hundred folds. So do you hear that? There's this, there's this law and order going on. He says, if you bear it patiently and you don't revenge your enemy, you don't rival against your enemy, but you bear it patiently, your reward shall be a hundred folds. And again, if he shall smite you the third time, and you bear it patiently, your reward sh shall be double unto you fourfold. This is a fourfold blessing. If you're patient and you don't revenge your enemy. That's why he told you, leave all vengeance to him because God wants to reward you. And he wants to test out your patience. He tells you to be patient. He tells you to be patient. You need this. If you don't know how to be patient, ask God to bless you with the spirit of patience. He told you, be anxious for nothing. There's a reason why he told you that. And be not hasty. People who are hasty, they run into getting themselves into problems. And these three, these three testimonies shall stand against your enemy if he repent not and shall not be bloated out. So do you hear that? This is judged. And now there, where verily I say unto you, if that enemy shall escape my vengeance, that he be not brought into judgment before me, then you shall see it. See to it that you warn him in my name. So if God didn't ve take vengeance on your enemy yet, you're supposed to warn them because it doesn't mean they're gone away scotch free from what they did. God will take vengeance on them. He's just patient. He leaves a door open of repentance because he doesn't delight in anyone should die, but that all should come to repentance. That's why he tells you to be patient with even your enemies. That he come no more upon you, neither upon your family, even your children's children, unto the third and fourth generation. And then if he, he shall come upon you or your children, or your children's children, unto the third and fourth generation, I have delivered thy enemy into thy hands. And then if thou wilt spare him, thou shalt be rewarded for thy righteousness. Remember, you're getting rewarded for your righteousness, either double, either sevenfolds, either fourfolds or a hundredfolds. But this is talking about the hundredfolds. And also thy children and thy children's children unto the, the third and fourth generation. Nevertheless, thy enemy is in thy hands. And if thou rewards him according to his works, thou art justified. If he have sought thy life and thy life is endangered by him, Thy enemy is in thy hands, and thou art justified. Behold, this is the law that I gave unto my servant Nephi, and to thy fathers Joseph and Jacob, and Isaac and Abraham, and all my ancient prophets and apostles. And again, this is the law that I gave unto my ancients, that they should not go out unto battle against any nation, kindred, tongue, or people, save I, the Lord, commanded. So unless God commanded his people to go out to war, they're not supposed to. They're supposed to keep this law of being patient if their enemy smited them. Just what I just read. So if you need to go back and read it, this is Doctrine and Covenants chapter 98. 
And if any nation, tongue, or people should proclaim war against them, they should first lift the standard of peace onto that people, nation, or tongue. And if that people did not accept the offer of peace, neither the second nor the third time, they should bring these testimonies before the Lord. Then I, the Lord, would give unto them a commandment and justify them in going out to battle against that nation, tongue, or people. And I, the Lord, would fight their battles and their children's battles and their children's children's until they have avenged themselves on all their enemies to the third and fourth generations. Behold, this is an example and sample unto all people, says the Lord your God, for justification before me. And again, verily I say unto you, if after thy enemy has come upon thee the first time, he repent and come unto thee praying thy forgiveness, thou shalt forgive him, and shall hold it no more as a testimony against thy enemy, and so on, unto the second and third time. And as oft as thy enemy repents of the trespass wherewith he has trespassed against thee, thou shalt forgive him until seventy times seven. And if he trespass against thee and repent not the first time, nevertheless thou shalt forgive him. And if he trespass against thee the second time and repent not, nevertheless thou shalt forgive him. And if he trespass against thee the third time and repent not, thou shalt also forgive him. But if he trespass against thee the fourth time, thou shalt not forgive him, but shall bring these testimonies before the Lord, and they shall not be blotted out until he repent and reward thee. So this is your enemy having to reward thee fourfold in all things wherewith he has trespassed against thee. So the fourth time, he's justified. He, he has to reward you. And if he do this, thou shalt forgive him with all thy heart. And if he do not this, I, the Lord, will avenge thee of thy enemies a hundredfold. And upon his children and upon his children's children, of all them that hate me, unto the third and fourth generation. But if the children shall repent, so if their children repent, or the children's children, and turn to the Lord their God, and with all their hearts and with all their might and mind and strength, and restore... So this is what the enemy's children has to do. That their children and their children's children must restore four fools for all their trespasses wherewith they have trespassed or wherewith their fathers have trespassed or their father's fathers. Then thy indignation shall be turned away. So they have to restore four fools what their father, children's children or their father's fathers have stole. And vengeance shall no more come upon them says the Lord thy God, and their trespasses shall never be brought any more as a testimony before the Lord against them. Amen. So if your enemies' enemies still don't repent for all the things they did to you, there's going to be a judgment on their children's children up until their third and fourth generation. But God, if their children do repent, like you see the people who had the children of Israel in slavery, you could say the Chaldeans, the Edomites, which you know as white people. If their children repent of what the things that their their foreparents have done, their third and fourth generation have done and restore fourfolds what they stole from the children of Judah and Israel, then God will remember their sins no more. The children of Israel and Judah must forgive them. And that God will not hold vengeance upon them. They'll be forgiven and it won't be brought before them as a testimony. This is what he wants them people to know. Um, stay blessed. So there's a hundredfold um, avenging of God on such people. If they, cont if they do these things, what he delights not in, and they don't repent, all right? And they don't forgive. So there's, if, if you're not forgiving, and if you don't restore the four folds, all right? And God will put a hundredfold on, um, punishment on your head. Um, stay blessed and... Um, take this up with fasting and praying. And if you want to know exactly where this is, it's in Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 98. And I started at verse 23 to verse 48. Stay blessed, beautiful people of God.